Hello everyone and welcome to your weekly reading from Monday the 12th of October through to Sunday the 18th of October. So this is going to be a reading for everyone for your personal journey and a reading for Twin Flames for your Twin Flame journey. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So we're going to use the Love and Light Oracle for this reading. We're going to bring in the Goddess cards and I'm going to use the new deck by Radley valentine the angel wisdom tarot deck really powerful but first of all i have a message for you from jesus and this is for everyone he's given me two cards to show you today the first one is a happy home this is a card of gratitude and about understanding that right now that you are safe. Now, there's some crazy things going on in the world because the world is changing. There's a significant change coming in between now and 2024. A change that's going to lead to a better future. A change that's going to lead to the golden age as we move into this powerful energy of change. And the angels are saying to you, you are safe. You are protected and you are one. You are one with the universe. You are one with source. So when you tap into that power, you know in your heart that you are safe and nothing can affect you. So whatever problems seem to be going on in the universe, you change your thinking about them and then they disappear. You realize that everything is here to grow you and learn you and teach you things about yourself. So you start to breathe and surrender and trust the steps you're being guided to take to move into the unknown. And there is unknown energy around right now, but things are happening to change our perception of things, to help us to reflect on who we are, where we're going and who we're meant to be, so that we can move closer towards our mission, which moves us closer to source. So the angels are asking you to go within and ask yourself the question, is this job I'm in serving me? Is it in alignment with who I am? Is this relationship serving my soul right now? Is it in alignment with who I am? So you, everything you're in, everything you're experiencing has to be in alignment with your soul to move you forward. And there's a lot of shifts and changes coming in. So Jesus is showing you right now that he is protecting the world. And there's a lot of noise in the world. We've just had a motorbike go up the street very loudly. So there's a lot of noise in the world. The noise in the world is in the media. It's in the news. It's in protesting. It's in all of the things going on in the world that hurt your soul. And you are aware of all of those things because you are an empath. You are a light worker. You are a star seed. You are tapped into the energy of the who you are. So you have to move away from the noise. And Jesus is showing you here that he is protecting the world right now. That he is putting this white light and this seal of love around the world. And he's saying, my people will live in safety, quietly at home. They will be at rest. So he's saying this is a time now to rest your weary legs to rest your body, to take some time out for you. So this week is going to be a week of rest where we really start thinking about our lives. Are things serving us? Everything happens for a reason. So if you're in lockdown, if there's restrictions coming in and you were quietly at home, the, you know, the energy of Jesus is saying to you, you are safe. These things are happening right now to keep you safe, to keep you secure. And that isn't me saying that, you know, there's, there's a lot of pain in the world and this COVID-19, you know, is or isn't real. That's not my place to say. That's for you to decide. And thank you, they just gave me fear. But what this is saying to you is that wherever you are in the world, you are safe because you are a, a child of God and that you are loved and you are protected. And this message needs to come out. That's why there's fear around it, because there's so much fear right now. Fear of change, fear of the pandemic, fear of what's to come. And we have to understand that our journey is safe and we are protected. So give it to heaven and speak with love. Speak the words of love with love. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. So what this means is trust that you are being guided from above. Whoever you believe in, whatever you believe in, you are protected. And there's a, there's a power, higher power, bigger than you watching over you. 
and it's connecting you to who you are it's connecting you with source and it's saying to you speak words of love not fear speak with power not fear speak with faith not fear so don't doubt this you are safe and you are loved so we're going to pull some cards then for everyone and for twin flames so thank you angels what do we need to know for everyone please there we go the cards are flying out what do we need to know for twin flames please angels wow see how they're jumping out the deck a lot of power coming in today what do we need to know for everyone thank you angels and what do we need to know for twin flames for this week ahead thank you thank you what do we need to know for everyone please angels and what do we need to know for twin flames well they're just jumping in my hand there so we're going to start with the energy for everyone there so the message coming in is honor your uniqueness wow so this week make sure you move into it honoring your uniqueness remembering who you are remembering your power that you are safe and loved and perfect just as you are thank you for making me so wonderfully complex your workmanship is marvelous how well i know it and that's from psalm 139 14 so the angels are saying you are wonderful and unique so give thanks for you give thanks for the person that you are the way you've been created let go of any things within you you wish you could change and accept things as they are and then the problems will fix themselves when you start loving yourself working on you and if you want to love yourself more if you want to get to know yourself more just look in the mirror and look really into your eyes in the mirror and you'll see the part of your soul looking back at you that loves you. You'll see your inner child looking back at you with love and with eagerness for this future that you're creating. So look at yourself with love and be grateful. Say to yourself, thank you for loving me. Thank you for being with me being with me throughout my life you're in a child that loves you and wants you to nurture it and give it love and safety so love yourself today look in the mirror and honor your uniqueness and that's the journey of self-love become still so you may hear god wow become still which means meditate breath work go within quiet time and remember what jesus is saying rest this week there's no need to rush. There's no need to make things happen. Just allow everything unfold. And when you quiet your mind and you go within, all the answers will come and God will lead the way. So you may hear the angels. So you may hear your intuition, the messages from your guides and your loved ones. For the life of every living thing is in his hands and the breath of every human being. So the angels are saying, trust that everything is supported. You are strong. You are connected with source. You are one. Sometimes we are like the sun and sometimes we are like the moon. It takes darkness before our light can emerge. So remember, we have to go into the darkness sometimes to emerge into the light. We have to go through the rough to find the smooth we have to go through the bad times to find the good times so we have to trust in who we are life provides what i need and who i need when my soul is open and ready to receive so the angels are saying when you let go of struggle when you let go of doubt when you have faith in where you're going and who you are the right things and people will be given to you you'll be shown the way you'll be open to receive all the blessings in your life your twin flame moving towards you that soul teacher teaching you things about you you understanding who you are and where you're going and why you were born it is safe for you to be powerful you know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself so remember your power this week step forward knowing that you are safe that you are protected that wherever you go the angels are already in front of you removing obstacles and making the way safe for you remember your power that your thoughts become things that your words have power that you activate things with the things you say and the things you feel you know how to be powerful in a loving way so this is about having compassion 
empathy for others, understanding, compromise, not expecting everything to go your way because you trust that everyone is learning and everyone is growing and everyone is doing the best they can. So have positive expectations but don't have any expectations of how things need to be. Instead, have expectations of how you would like them to be and then let go and have faith. It's vitally important that you stay alert. Synchronicities will occur regularly, but you have to be attuned to notice them. So the angels are saying to you, we're constantly giving you signs, constantly giving you synchronicities and giving you signs and, and symbols that will show you that you are safe, but you have to be aware. You have to pay attention. So on your personal journey this week, pay attention to the signs and understand that you are being loved and surrounded by love and shown the way. Surround yourself with people who clearly love your light and add to it. So remove yourself from toxic, toxic things, things that get in your way, things that drag you down, things that put you into negativity or fear and be around love be around compassion, be around understanding, be around people that get you and understand your light and know that you are a beacon of light. I bring joy everywhere I go. I am a beacon of love. So you are a beacon of love and a beacon of light and you shine your light brightly. You are strong and you give joy to the world just by being you. Surrender to what is, let go of what was and have faith in what will be. Such a powerful message. Surrender to what is. So accept the situation. Trust in heaven. Know that you are unique and powerful just as you are. And become still in your mind so you hear the angels speaking to you. So you see the signs and the synchronicities they are sending to you. You surrender to what is. And you let go of what was. So you release the past. You let go of the pain, the struggle, the fear the toxic energy and you have faith in what will be knowing that God is by your side, that the angels are around you, that there's nothing to fear and that victory will be yours. So beautiful with the six of wands here, the six of fire, victory. Everything you want is flowing in. Stand your ground this week and know your truth, that you will be successful. And Archangel Uriel is around you, guiding you, giving you power, illuminating you to the truth of who you are, your uniqueness, how perfect you are in this moment for your mission, that you are special, that nobody compares to you. Wise choices that bring public recognition and success. So the success coming into your life. Changes that will lead to more money. Changes that will lead to success, better health, freedom, power, stability, the happy home and the love that you seek. Everything is flowing in for you and you are safe. Promotion, awards or scholarships. So you're moving forward along your journey in the school of life and you're being rewarded for things. So remember who you are. The twin flames then for the week ahead. Look at this. Speak words of love. This is so powerful. This is the universe saying to you, speak about this journey with love. Speak about your twin flame with love. Release blame. Forgive them for the past. Forgive the situation. And speak words of love. Be strong and stand in your mighty power with the heavenly realms. So this is saying to you, you have angels around you, you are strong and safe. Face your future with boldness and strength. So twin flames, be bold about your future. Remember who you are. Face your future with boldness and strength, which means you can overcome any challenges. You can fix any problems. You can sort things out. You can be in union. You have to trust your journey and trust with faith that you are loved. As soon as I pray, you answer me. You encourage me by giving me strength. So the angels are saying to you, all you have to do is ask. When you ask, it is given. When you ask for help, it is given to you. When you ask for faith and surrender, it is given to you. When you ask for strength and power, it is given to you. 
So ask for what you want and believe it's flowing and you will receive. So ask for help and leave a trail of love as you walk the earth. So as you walk the earth, you're on your journey and your journey is your mission. It's your journey to union. It's your mission to be of light and love, to help the world, to raise the vibration of humanity. What is it? it says, what a variety of things you have made. In wisdom, you have made them all. So this is you realizing that everything has its place. There's a reason for all things. That everything that happens to you is teaching you and growing you and helping you to love more. Helping you to love your twin flame more. Helping you to love yourself and your life more. And that's giving thanks to God. Giving thanks to the higher power for your life because you asked for this life. You ask for this journey to come here and grow, to come here and learn. And the energy of the full moon there is showing you that you're being illuminated in spiritual truth. And this is, I really feel psychic power increasing since the full moon. You're moving into your power and you're moving towards pure and unconditional love because that's what the twin flame journey is. And that's why Jesus, he is showing you this lamp. This is about you understanding that kindness is the key. It's about compassion and love and empathy and all the things that are the fruit of the spirit, which you learn along the way. You learn to release the pain and the sorrow and you replace it with joy and faith. You tap into what this journey is. It's unconditional love. That means it can't be controlled. It can't be conditioned. It can't be created in fear. It has to be let go of in love. So you have to trust it's moving forward. Speak to the earth and it will instruct you. Let the fish of the speech speak to you. So the angels are saying to you, you can control things by speaking them into existence. Remember your power. The earth is always speaking to you. Your twin flame is always speaking to you. And never let yourself be tamed, stay free. So along this journey, we become free. So this is a sign of freedom. Releasing yourself from karmic bonds, releasing the past, letting go of the struggle, moving towards faith and power. Don't let negative and toxic people rent space in your head. Raise the rent and kick them out. So let go of any negative thinking or any negative people that try and suck your energy dry or move you off your path. You know the truth. This is also a sign of karmic endings and releasing, changing the past to bring in a better future. New beginnings are imminent. This says new romance is imminent. Be open to giving and receiving love. And this is the new beginning in the connection. The angel is saying to you this is moving forward and it's moving forward now. And the three of swords here, great sadness that will heal with time. Let go of the past. Personal growth that comes from challenges, healing misunderstandings, being there for those in need. And that's Archangel Azrael, the angel of comfort, the angel that helps you to move out of the energy of pain and grief into the energy of love and faith. This is you understanding that separation heals, that you are supported, that things are being healed right now. So within the journey this week, there's going to be quiet time and thinking. And this makes so much sense because for the energy of the week, it's about understanding that you are safe, reflecting on your life. And this is also what your divine masculine is doing, that during this separation, you are both healing. You're both growing, you're understanding the truth. Time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shine your light as an example to others. Seek out or become a spirit your mentor it's a journey of self-discovery and archangel raziel is illuminating you to the truth open up your psychic abilities your psychic truth your power radiating your heart light opening you up to your christ light so that you know who you are and you remember your power in yourself We've got the king here the king of earth and this is the king of pentacles compassion that's what you need charismatic, grounded, accomplished, a time of great success, financial security and prosperity, the Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully, a supportive part a supportive parent and spouse a good person to work for now i read all that out because that may resonate with something there but this is saying to you i have the power 
This is you understanding that you have the power, you are a creator, that your divine masculine is manifesting the truth, that you're moving towards the truth of who you are, you're being guided, it's a time of success and prosperity, things are growing right now, things are changing, so twin flames this is saying to you, a new beginning is imminent, your divine masculine is gaining focus and power just like you, from going within and understanding the truth, from realising why you go into separation and what it means so you release any negativity so you release toxic things including karmic situations that don't serve your soul that you stay free and you allow yourself to set yourself free from those chains that you focus on pure and unconditional love so that you leave a trail of love on the earth. And this is about the legacy that you will leave behind. The things that you create when you're in union. So you face your future today with strength and faith. And speak words of love. And to understand that you're moving towards a new beginning. So there's no place for doubt. There's no place for fear. Step up and step forward into your future fearlessly. Knowing the truth that you are safe and protected all as well, and there's nothing to fear. Have a great week sending you so much love, and I'll see you soon.